everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be another Yvette Activewear try on haul for y'all. I have some new pieces to show you and then also I just wanted to do a little sit down chat with y'all today because I get a lot of questions from everyone about how I make it look so easy you know to maintain my weight loss or to kind of keep doing the same things every day and so I kind of wanted to touch base on that kind of some of my I don't want to call it necessarily tips, but just some kind of things that I think about and how I have kept my weight off for the past couple of years and just kind of going forward with kind of maintaining, you know, like I say, I always still want to lose like that last five pounds, but again, I'm kind of happy where I'm at. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of do that while I do this um, new activewear haul with y'all today. I have some beautiful pieces to show you. Thanks so much to Yvette for sponsoring today's video. I have worked with them for a long time as you know and I love them they are a great company to work with they um, have a lot of products that are from recycled materials now which I think is excellent they have a wide range of sizes to fit any body shape size style um, they are also very interactive online and on Instagram especially if you have questions about sizing someone will be there available to help you and you can chat with them and they will get you into the right size for you um, some of the clothes they do may, maybe run on the small side a little bit so you definitely if you are unsure if you're in between sizes then I would definitely go on there and chat with somebody so that you make sure that you select the right size that fits your body and if it doesn't then you can always send it back and exchange it and get it um, the correct sizing um, but also if you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. My channel is um, mostly consists of Weight Watchers videos, uh, meal prep videos, grocery hauls, clothing hauls. I kind of do a little bit of everything. I just kind of do my own thing on here. I love that. I have a more of a lifestyle channel that is kind of you know based around weight loss and um, a little bit of fitness and stuff too so i would love to have you stick around and go ahead and subscribe follow me over on instagram all of that stuff and yeah let's jump into the video oh also um, Yvette has given me a discount code a couple of them to share with y'all today it is Jennifer 15 for 15% 15 off any order or Jennifer 20 for orders over $109 and I will have that on the screen here for you and all of the information will be down in the description box below and all of the links to the clothes and stuff that I'm trying on today so without further ado let's just jump into the try on haul and then we will just talk about um, weight loss and keeping it off and all of that good stuff Okay, before I get into the try on portion for my new Yvette um, activewear, I just wanted to show you how nicely this comes packaged. And I always keep um, these little packages that the sports bras come in. And I use these whenever we went to Florida. They were great. They're kind of like nice little travel bags. And I could just pack different things up in them. Even the leggings come in a nice package as well. So I just think that is a nice added touch. And so I just thought that I would unpackage them real quick for y'all. And um, just show you how they come. Uh, as affordable as these clothes are, you really are getting a great deal. Really high quality um, packaging clothing everything it's like they have thought of every detail so let me set you up here I can't open those with one hand and we will get them opened so you are going to get to see these with me for the first time I'm going to open them all up and lay them out and then we will talk about them briefly and then I will try them all on for you okay so here's what we have today we have this beautiful brown set um, this is my first time even looking at it look at this it is a beautiful chocolate brown color um, brown is really in this fall I really think that this is going to be a color that we see a lot um, this is a large in the bras and pretty much in all of the bras I wear a large and I am a 36d and then in all of the pants I typically wear a medium um, some of them I have gotten in large before but as I have lost weight I have went down to the medium and so I have the beautiful brown leggings that go with that brown top obviously and then I have another zip front sports bra which I love those this is in this beautiful I guess maroon color um, and then I love this black and white one as well this one is one that just goes over your head but it does have the clasp in the back and stuff 
but anyway i wanted to just show y'all and then i thought this was going to be a pair of leggings but yay it's a pair of shorts and i love to work out in biker shorts i know i wear these all the time so super excited about that so i will try those three pieces on together and then this brown suit for you um so let me uh get into some clothes and we will get this started okay guys so this first piece that i'm going to show you or this first set is this beautiful brown set this is the echo for a vast forest high support sports bra this is a 75 percent um polyester which is recycled and then 25 percent elastane both the sports bra and the pants are and the sports bra is of course made for high impact it has non-removable cups in there which i love i always have to have cups in my bras so these are non-removable they're soft they are molded um, it also has this crisscross design on the back that is adjustable it is adjustable up here so you can adjust the straps and then it also has the prongs here so you can adjust the width across your back how you like it the easiest way that i like to put this one on is to go ahead and get it adjusted to where i kind of know where it is and then i will just keep it there and put it on yeah, i'll go ahead and hook the back because it's hard for me to reach around and hook the back but again um Yvette also has this in a wide range of sizes. This comes in sizes extra small to 2XL and it is available in two colors. And I love this. This is exactly like that green set I think that I showed the last time. Um, and yeah, let me lower you down and show you the pants as well. Okay, and here are the pants that go along with that. Again, this is the Echo for a Vast Force. I think I just said that the sports bra comes in two colors. It actually comes in four colors. So there's like a beautiful green set. I think there's a black set and a blue and then this brown set as well. And a couple of great things about these pants. They're made out of the same material. The pants have a high waist on them and they are very stretchy. They definitely hold you in. I love them. Uh, they have uh, pockets. I know I have a lot of people that always want the pants with the pockets. So I love that feature as well. You can easily slip your phone, your keys, whatever you need to in there. If you are going to the gym or outside to work out, we will do a little squat test on them. They are squat proof as well. And yeah, just overall, I love these. They are super soft, um, very stretchy. And again, they come in sizes extra small to 2XL. So. Um, a wide range of sizes. That's one of my favorite things about Yvette. I know I've said that a million times, but it is true because I know that it is not easy for everyone to find cute active wear, but with Yvette it is. So, anywho, this is this outfit. I'm going to go ahead and switch into the shorts and one of the other sports bras and show you that as well. Okay, so now I have this one on. I actually really love this one. I wasn't sure what I thought about it before I put it on, but I think it's great. This is the Sculpt Razorback Print um, High Support Sports Bra. This one is 80% polyester and 20% elastane, and it is designed for high impact, of course, like everything else. It has, um, of course, this unique print on it. And I love it because it's black and white. Y'all know my colors. I love black and everything. It also has the three position hook and eye thing down here on the bottom so that you can uh, position it the way you want it around the width of your chest here. I don't think, yeah. So the straps are not adjustable, but this part is adjustable. It um, has non-removable cups. Again, y'all know how I love my cups. I'm not one that would ever wear a sports bra without cups. I mean, occasionally I might, but for the most part, I definitely want the cups in there. It also has this hollowed out design in the back, which actually helps eliminate pressure on your shoulders. So if that is an issue, then this might be something to consider as well. But I love this sports bra. I think that it is super cute. It is super comfy and just overall great for high impact workouts or low impact workouts whatever you want to do super cute i love the design on it as well and then of course i have paired it with these black shorts let me lower you down okay here are these shorts y'all know i love them i love the black of course i love biker shorts i wear them all of the time these are the echo for a clean ocean women's bike shorts these are 75 percent polyester which is recycled. The proportion of recycled fabric is far more than in most other brands as well. And then it is just 25% elastane. This is designed for high impact. It has a high waist with a high waistband. 
and um, it really does kind of hold you in I think but it is not overly compression I don't like that really overly compression feel so these are super comfy I will definitely be wearing these you will see these um, in one of my treadmill workouts maybe I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference um, in my quick little videos that I do but uh, again I definitely love to wear shorts whenever I work out especially on the treadmill and stuff but these are so comfy they are very stretchy um, very soft fabric and um, let me do a little squat test for you they are squat proof as all of their uh, shorts and leggings and stuff are highly recommend I love these I would say you know I love that brown set but I actually think that I really love these shorts a whole lot I don't know there's something about them they do not have pockets I keep feeling like I'm gonna put my hands in my pockets because the other pants had pockets but these don't have pockets that does not bother me because I do all of my workouts at home these come in sizes extra small to 5XL and it is available in four colors so lots of variety to choose from there on sizes and in colors as well so let me um, switch to the next sports bra and we will show you that last one, that maroon one that zips in the front. All right, and last but not least, I have this Limitless Zip Front Crisscross Women's High Support Sports Bra. Look at this crisscross design on the back. I think it is beautiful. This one is just like the white one that I have and these are one of my favorite bras. I love them. They are so comfy. I love anything that zips in the front. It is so easy to take on and um, off. If you have any kind of issues pulling anything over your head, Yvette has lots of different varieties that zip up the front. So I highly recommend that because you just put these on like you would a jacket or something, zip it up, you're good to go. It has this little tab also that will kind of cover the zipper right there. So I love that about it. This is 78% um, polyester and 22% elastane. This of course is designed for high impact workouts. And again, like I said, I love the back of it. This is one of my favorites, the crisscross on here. This just helps give you, I don't know, a beautiful look, a beautiful shape. This has wide straps on the shoulders to not really pull on your shoulders a lot if that hurts or if you have any kind of neck issues, which y'all know that I do. Um, again, this is, uh, I don't know, such a great bra for such a great price. It has non-removable molded cups, of course, and this comes in sizes. It comes in sizes extra small to 5XL and in cups A to F, and it is available in four colors. But I love it. I love this maroon color. I love the white one as well. I would say that these are definitely up there in my top favorites. So, super cute. So, anyway, that is all of the clothes I have to show you today. So, now let's jump right into the uh, chat portion of the video and talk about losing weight, keeping it off, my top tips and kind of things that I live by now. You know, how, how I have kind of incorporated this into a lifestyle for me. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed seeing the Yvette um, clothing haul that I just did. Again, I love them, love working with them, and I cannot um, express my gratitude to them enough. And I hope that you uh, try some of these clothes out and use my discount code. Again, I will show that at the end of the video again on the screen and all of that stuff for you. I have Miss Maya here with me. Whenever I was doing the um, clothing try on and everything, Maya and Nico were both in here, but neither one of them made a sound. I think they were both just chilling and watching me. So. I kind of expected them to run through the screen, but I'm not sure if uh, they showed up at all until I go back and watch the footage. But Nico was on the bed and Maya was over here on the chair the whole time. But anywho, I just wanted to finish up the video by kind of talking about really, you know, five things. Because I've lost a little over 70 pounds at this point and I get a lot of questions on... How did you do it? How do you stay motivated? Is it easy? You know, what do you do all of the time? How do you stay co so consistent? Um, just tons of questions like that. And my answers are usually always the same. And these answers are probably going to be the same that some of y'all have heard several times. But I do think that they are very important and have really helped me with my journey. And so I did make just a few notes so that I don't forget what I'm going to say. Um... And really this is also about keeping it off in the long run because I think that a lot of people think that, you know, once you start a diet plan or whatever, that it's just going to be, 
you're just going to do that diet, you're going to lose that weight, and then you can go right back to doing what you're doing before and still be successful. And that is not true. That is not the case. So my first tip is to make it a true lifestyle change. You truly have to embrace it as a true lifestyle change. Um, you have to have the right mindset. You have to kind of think about what's really important to you. What do you want for you? Not what do you want for your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your significant other or whatever or not what you want for your coworkers or what they think about you. What do you want for you? What do you want your life to look like? What do you want your lifestyle to be? Do you want to live, do you truly want to live that healthy lifestyle and embrace it and along with that, you know, do what is necessary to achieve those goals because, I mean, Y'all know I get up super early every morning to work out before work. It's not easy, you know. Um, I have just made that a choice, a lifestyle change. Um, something that I try to get up and do five days a week, Monday through Friday, regardless of what's going on. There's only been a couple of times that I haven't done it. Even this past week, I was sick, pretty sick. But I got up and I thought, you know, I don't really feel that bad. It's been more like... Uh, sore throat and coughing and stuff and I thought you know I'll just still see if I can walk and I still did my workouts both Thursday and Friday even though I probably shouldn't have um, and a lot of people probably wouldn't have but actually I felt better after I got it done you know I felt like I needed to kind of get my blood flowing get the air flowing through my lungs all of that stuff to try to sweat out the cold um, and overall I haven't really felt that bad I've just been kind of tired but regardless of my cold um, you know, it is a true lifestyle. It is a true change in your mindset. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about what other people think. Worry about what you want to do and make the changes in your life to make those things possible. That would be probably my number one tip is, and that may sound kind of selfish to some people, um, and, but I don't see it as being selfish. I see it as taking care of yourself, and I think that is highly important. And I think that as women and some men, um, but I know that most of my audience are women, I think that we tend to kind of put ourselves on the back burner sometimes. And, you know, I think that it's time to put yourself number one and take care of yourself, and then kind of everything else in your life will kind of fall into place along with that as well. So uh, make it a true lifestyle change work on that healthy mindset and you know find that determination to get it done and then that kind of rolls into my number two and that is to forget motivation uh, i always get asked how do you stay motivated i don't i'm not motivated to get up at 3 30 every morning i'm not motivated to you know always skip out on the lunches that are brought in at work or the snacks or the treats if it's somebody's party it's more discipline and consistency. Um, I do it because I know that if I'm gonna get that workout in that day, I'm gonna have to do it before I get up and go to work in the morning. It's probably not gonna happen whenever I come home in the evenings. You know, Charlie and I go through phases where we will do like strength workouts in the evenings, but then we go through phases where we'll go several weeks and won't do it at all because I'm not getting that done early enough. You know, by the time that I get home, I'm tired. I've got a million excuses. At 3.30 in the morning, I don't really have any excuses. Nobody else is up. I don't really have to get in the shower then to go to work. So I get up and then I get my workout in. And um, another thing that I do is I always meal prep my food every week. You know, I pretty much spend all day every Sunday meal prepping, working on my food. I prep it for the whole week to kind of set myself up and Charlie also for success so that we have everything ready for us. And when we come home in the evenings, all we literally have to do is heat our meal up. Now, a lot of people don't like leftovers like that, um, but, you know, to each his own. If that doesn't work for you, then figure out whatever does work for you. But this is what works for us, and we really have enjoyed it a lot. Um, so, yeah, so forget motivation. She always lets you down. Focus on consistency and discipline. At work, I always, you know skip out on the food like we had barbecue delivered Friday for like our end of the summer thing or whatever which I don't really like barbecue that much it's not my favorite thing but you know they knew that I wasn't gonna eat it and luckily since um, 
I mean, our office, luckily, instead of having everybody like try to sit together outside or whatever, they just let everybody go get their plates and kind of go back to your office and eat. So that made me perfectly happy because sometimes it is awkward. Like I'll take my food and they're like, why aren't you eating the other food? Well, because I don't want to, you know, it doesn't fit into my plan for the day. To me, it's not worth it. I mean, I've had a million barbecue meals, you know, then they had cheesecake later that afternoon. They sent out an email. Oh, there's cheesecake in the break room. Help yourself. Well, I don't want that. That didn't fit in. I had an apple and a fiber one brownie on Friday for my afternoon snack. Um, so, you know, just things like that. I mean, I've had a million pieces of cheesecake. I've had a million cupcakes. That's the way I look at it. I don't really feel like I'm missing out on anything. If I want something like that, then I will make my version of it that fits into my plan. So, anyway, forget motivation, focus on consistency and discipline, and I know I've said that a million times, but I will keep saying that a million times, and there's other areas of my life that I really need to focus on consistency and discipline in, and I am working on those. I am nowhere near perfect. I will be the first to tell you. Um, number three is uh, the KISS rule. To keep it simple, stupid, or keep it stupid, simple, whatever that stands for, don't overcomplicate it. Don't overcomplicate things. I feel like most of my recipes and things that I do are fairly simple. I mean, I try to keep it as easy as possible. You know, we cook two meals a week. I pretty much always just have a sandwich and fruit for my lunch. I kind of have the same snacks. You know, I kind of do the same things every day. My body is used to that. I mean, I really don't cook like overly complicated meals out of those two meals that I do choose. Occasionally, I'll have one or two here or there that might be a little bit more complicated that takes a little bit more time, and that's okay. You know, I know it going into it, but I try not to choose. If I look at a recipe and it's got like 50 ingredients, mm -mm, I ain't got time for that. You know, if it's got like 50 steps, uh, I probably don't have time for that either. You know, I want something that has a list of normal ingredients, of normal foods that I kind of keep on hand, and then I can work with that. You know, there might be a couple of special things that I have to buy for it, and I will do that, but if it's something that's super long and seems super tedious, then, you know, to me that's just not sustainable if you're trying to make it that complicated. And also, I don't like following, like, somebody else's plan. Eat what you love, you know, eat what you like. Like, I like bacon and eggs every morning. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people want oatmeal or yogurt or something like that. To me, if I eat oatmeal in the mornings, it doesn't fill me up. It's not satiating. It actually almost makes me hungrier. I do better if I kind of stick to all protein in the mornings, and then I will kind of introduce those carbs at lunchtime. But then even after that, then I'm more snacky after I have my fruit and my sandwich at lunch. You know, I'm more snacky in the afternoons. I'm ready for my banana and my fiber one brownie and you know possibly a few pistachios I keep some salt and pepper pistachios uh, in my desk those are fairly low in points and I'll eat a few of those if I want something kind of like salty and crunchy but again keep it simple that's you know just go by that kiss rule and you know simple is different for everybody so figure out what's simple for you it might not be what's simple for me um, number four is to set small goals and kind of focus on those. So when I first started WW back in September of 2019, I originally, you know, I didn't really know how I was going to do on it. I just kind of focused on losing the first 15 pounds so that I could get below 200. And then once I did that, you know, then I thought, well, I'm going to focus on getting to 190 and so I kind of focused on that for a little while if I really just focused on getting to like 144 or something then that almost would seem way overwhelming if that makes sense you know you feel like you're never going to get there but if you kind of focus on losing that first few pounds and then that next five pounds and those small little increments and letting that be what's important at the time even though in the long run that longer picture is to lose that 70 to 75 pounds or 100 pounds or 20 pounds or whatever your total is it's different for everybody um you know just focus on those small daily tasks and those weekly goals monthly goals whatever you want to you will eventually get there and reach that big goal if you just kind of focus on the small goals, you know. Um, at least I think so. I think sometimes it can be overwhelming if you go into it and it's like, oh my gosh, I gotta lose 100 pounds. 
and you feel like that's, you know, years and years away. Well, I mean, it's 2021, it's September of 2021, and I can honestly say this month, this year has flown by. I mean, it's like I blinked and it's almost Christmas time again. I can't believe that it's already fall. And, um, you know, time really does go by. The time's gonna go by regardless of whether or not you're making the good choices or you're making the bad choices. So I try to look at it that way too. You know, every day is gonna go by the same and you just have those choices that you need to make every day to meet your goals. And um, again, just focus on those small daily goals and, you know, do things. Drink your water, take a walk, you know, follow your points or your macros or your calories or intuitive eating or whatever it is that you're doing. I don't think that there's any one particular diet that every person needs to do. And then uh, <laughs> number five, and this is a question that I get a lot too, and they're like, how do you do it? You make it look so easy. Is it so easy for you? No, the answer to that is no, it is not easy for me. It is something that I really have to work on my mindset again. Um, it would just be easier sometimes for me to say, no, I don't wanna cook, I don't wanna spend all day on Sunday cooking, I don't wanna film, you know, I don't wanna take a shower and get ready, I just wanna lay here and be a vegetable and watch TV or whatever, but I don't allow myself to do that. Um, even like this week whenever I did my meal prep, I didn't feel good, but I still did it anyway because I needed to do it to set myself up for success this week because regardless of whether or not I feel a little bit bad, I still have to eat all week. I still have to get up and go to work all week. Um, and I don't know, I just kind of set my priorities, I guess. And so everybody's priorities are different. But um, no, it's not easy. It is a challenge every day. It is something that I have to keep in my mind every day about what is important, what my goals are, you know, what I want out of life, what I want my future to look like. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just determined. I'm just determined not to, um, fail, I guess. And, um, along with that, you know, a lot of people say take it easy. Also, I feel like everyone needs to take ownership of their own diet and stuff because sometimes I feel like people, you know, they want me to tell them exactly what to eat. You know, they want to eat exactly what I'm eating or exactly what I do. And I do like to do the videos and provide motivation for everybody and to provide ideas and stuff like that. But I don't think that you should just follow exactly what I do. You know, you need to figure out what's right for you because what's right for me may not be what's right for you. It may not be what helps you reach your goals. Um, some things may be, and that's kind of the way I do. I watch a lot of people on YouTube and I kind of take little snippets from each person of things that, oh, I like the way, you know, she does that or he does that. You know, oh, that's a great idea. I think I'll do that too. And some people, maybe not so much. I might be like, nah, that's not for me, you know. And so I, it's not that I won't stop watching that person or whatever because they may have other good ideas, but I don't just, you know, take one idea or take one person and kind of focus on that. I just kind of take ownership for myself and what I'm doing. I think that it is very important for people to calculate their own Weight Watchers points, your own macros, your own calories, whatever it is. Um, we can always make mistakes on YouTube. It is very easy if I forget to just plug in one ingredient in the app. If I'm going through it, if I'm in a hurry, then I might give the wrong points. You know, if I don't change the quantity or the serving in there, um, it will give the wrong points. So again, always double check me. And part of that is just taking ownership. Um, somebody commented, well, they don't, they can't afford, you know, Weight Watchers or whatever. There is the iTrack Bites app, and there is a free version of that to where you can count your points. I think, I'm not sure if there's a free version where you can count calories or not. I've never really looked at the app, but a lot of my friends use it, and they love it. And the paid version, I think, is only like $40 for the whole year. So there are ways to find those online calculators. Like my fitness pal has a free version if you want to calculate your calories and macros. And there's a tons of tons of other ones of those. But yeah, so no, it's not easy. It's all about taking ownership. It's all about just being responsible for your choices and trying to make yourself make those choices every day, regardless of whether or not you want to do them. And I, I, the, the um, I guess a synonym that I use, not synonym, what is the word? 
I guess the comparison that I use for that is I don't want to get up and go to work every day, but I do it because I have to. You know, I don't want to get up and work out every day, but I do it because I need to. You know, I have to to meet my goals. You know, I don't want to say work all day on Sundays and cook all of this food, but I feel like I have to to kind of make my week easier to set myself up for success. Um, if I didn't work, would I meal prep like I do? I don't know. I might change it up a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't like prep my breakfast and stuff like that, but um, I would still do some sort of meal prep because Charlie and I really like the ease of just heating up our food in the evenings and it being ready for us. So that's what works for us. But anywho, I hope that you uh, enjoyed this video. And again, thanks to Yvette for sponsoring today's video. Again, use my discounts, Jennifer15 to save 15% off any order, or Jennifer20 to save 20% off orders of $109 or more. And I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.